What's going on guys? This is Aussie Van Man here. How are y'all doing today? I'm watching my step here because there's lots of holes in the ground. We are here at Diamond Point, Arizona. This is a basically a little area where you can come out and dig for uh, quartz crystals out here. And that's why, well, I don't have any tools with me today. I wanted to come check it out, see if we can find some surface finds or anything that people missed near the surface here. With all these holes that are already pre-existing. But yeah, <clears throat> it's pretty dug over. This is uh, part of the collection site here. I'm gonna show you the uh, sign right now so we can see the rules and the collection area on the map. <clears throat> okay, the rules are as follows. Open for small scale collections, stay within the 35 acre area. Uh, do not exceed four by four by eight inches, four by four by eight inches of the dimension, about the size of a 32 ounce water bottle. Digging is not allowed within six feet of the base of any tree. Collection of, for commercial use is not authorized. Now, the one thing here, only small hand tools. Uh, I don't have any of those, so we're just doing surface finds today by the looks of it. Here we have a little map. This is where I am right now. And we're gonna go, <clears throat> basically the maps are a different way, but this is a collection zone over here, I believe. Because I came from this way, which means um, the collection point is actually this side of where I'm at. All right, guys, I've seen a little bit of a like creek wash just down here. Um, so I'm thinking I won't have to dig as far. I'm using rocks to try to dig the bank out a bit and see if we can find anything. All right, just scraping away here. See what I can find. There's definitely signs here of people using much bigger tools to dig much bigger holes here. Which is kind of sad, but oh well. All right, I'm going to do this for a while, see if we can come up with anything for you guys. All right, guys, so I've dug around a little bit with a stick and a rock with no results. <laughs> now, I did a little uh, research just quickly online. Uh, people say that they were finding surface finds where all the washes were and rocks were getting washed out. Um, so I may actually just try to do surface finds. Just gonna have to look around a lot for them. And I don't think they'll be very big, but I'll take what I can get. Okay guys, so I just had a bit of a rattling going on. I was walking straight towards this bad boy. We got a rattlesnake here. I don't know what type that is, he's quite... Oh, I just rolled my ankle. That sucked. <laughs> Crazy. So I don't know what type that is. He's very dark, not like the ones we get in Phoenix. Oh, he sees me, he's not happy. Hello, so I was about to walk over there. I definitely gotta watch where I'm stepping today because I'm not wearing any protective gear right now. Okay. Oh, he's, right. he's angry. I didn't do that, so you tripped on the bark. Oh, he's looking right at me. He's starting to coil. Hey, buddy. Bye. I'm going to turn around now. Oh, oh, he's coiling up. He is coiling up. He's looking right at me. Now, you stay over there. Don't come over here. Stay there. Oh, he's getting ready to strike. Don't come this way, go away. He's now down the hill, which is unfortunately the way that I'm going back. Yeah, keep going, keep going, sir. We don't want any of that, no sorry. Problem is, if there's one here, there's probably plenty of these things getting around right now. So, let's not play around with those guys. 
I have to look up what kind of rattlesnake that is. I've never seen such a dark rattlesnake out in the wild before. Definitely not one we get in Phoenix, I'm guessing. Okay, that was an interesting encounter. Um, I think I didn't have Bonnie with me. She would have been freaking out. Uh, now it's good to be extra careful with my footing today because it's quite clear that the snakes are out and about. And they like rocks just as much as I do because I'm looking for quartz crystals. And there, these snakes are potentially in all the areas that I want to be looking at. Dang it. All right, I'm going to move on to a different area, away from said snake that was just up the hill there. And we're going to continue looking on the rocky areas, see if I can find any quartz um, points that have been maybe washed up since the last rains. Nobody's found, possibly. The sad thing is I'm seeing a lot of really big dig sites here. Now they say hand tools only and only certain size holes and must be filled back in. I'm not seeing a lot of that. I'm seeing a lot of big, deep shovel dog holes and they're not filling them back in. It's kind of sad that people are spoiling it for everybody here. Pretty soon all these commercial people will probably be digging all these hordes out. You're not supposed to dig here if you're a commercial seller. But I believe that there are definitely people here doing it or doing it to sell to commercial, which sucks, but oh well. Okay guys, just quickly, I did find a cool rock. It's not a uh, quartz point, but it is. there are other mineralizations in this area. It's actually a lava rock. And it's hard to tell, I'll have to bring it into the sun, but there's all this mineralization all over it, little crystals all embedded through the lava rock. So I don't know, I might actually keep that one, it's kind of cool. I can give that to a friend. Okay guys, so I've just found a little gift. The whole day is not lost yet. Uh, somebody out here, and I can tell it's been out here a while because all the water, rainwater's washed dirt over the top of it. So uh, somebody left this really nice uh, hand shovel out here. So we don't want to litter, so I'll pick that up and maybe I'll use that as well. So we've had a bit of a fail on this one. Didn't find any diamond points. The ground is incredibly dry right now. Hasn't had any rain out here for a while. So, so digging with little hand spades and uh, sticks and rocks, just can't get into the ground. Uh, maybe a hand pick. They did say you could have a sm small hand pick here. But it's quite evident people are bringing stuff out here that uh, are much more heavy uh, duty than what's allowed out here by the size of the holes here. Um, it's a bit of a shame, really, that people are kind of ruining it for others. But it doesn't mean there isn't diamond points out here. It's just... I either need to get a hand pick or a, uh, or I need to come out here right after it's rained, I think. And uh, it might have washed some of the topsoil off and loosened up some of those diamond points out here before someone else comes and snags them up. All right, so it's getting hot. I'm gonna leave this one. I'm not really finding anything. So <clears throat> maybe we'll come back to that one. I have another site that I'm looking at going at. I gotta see how far it is from me today. Um, but we'll, uh, we may head over there today. Let's, uh, it's gonna go get some lunch and then we'll figure it out. All right, so I'm just driving out of here, guys. Uh, I just wanted to note real quick, I'm a little bit disappointed. Um, I'm driving out of here and this guy's pulled up on the side of the road all along here. And they're all digging outside of the designated dig points. So I'm a little bit annoyed about that because uh, they're kind of breaking the law for a start and they're kind of ruining it for all of us who are going in and doing the right thing. But because it's been heavily dug on the dig site, they want to go get all the good stuff in the places you're not supposed to dig. So yeah, not very cool guys. Uh, it really ru ruins the uh, hobby for everyone. That ruins the enjoyment for newcomers. Yeah. Uh, if you're gonna come out to sites like this, make sure you follow the rules, guys, because uh, it's, 
it's really not fair to everyone else when people come in and do that. All right, guys, so turns out the uh, fossil sites on the opposite side of the highway back and then just down a couple of miles. So super close to the uh, Diamond Point site. Um, so we're going to go fossil hunting now. Hopefully we have better luck fossil hunting than we do uh, diamond point hunting. So, <laughs> but it's a beautiful place here. Look at that guys. Absolutely covered in pine forest. It's beautiful. So, it says Indian Gardens Paleo site. So 300 million years ago, the ground we now stand on was once covered by a warm, shallow ocean. The sediment deposited in that sea are now called the Naiko Formation. So yeah, we're going to be finding sea life fossils apparently. Okay, so I just went in there for a little look to see what I can do in there. Well. Everybody's using like hand picks in there, so I'm not gonna be able to really find much without hand picks, I don't think. Luckily, Pace in Arizona is only 13 miles away from me. So I've decided oh, I've decided uh, I'm going to drive back to Pace and get myself a hand pick. And then I can dig some fossils. All right, guys. Maybe I'll grab a bite to eat. In Payson, maybe there'll be something interesting in Payson to look at. I will let you know along the way. Otherwise, we'll see you back here at the fossil site. All right, guys. All right, guys. So we are back now. I went and bought a hand pick and some gloves in town. Yeah, we're gonna go have a crack at this fossil digging. And maybe we'll go back tomorrow now I've got a hand pick. We actually go back to the diamond point place, maybe. Or we'll save it for another time. All right, let's get going. Apparently I don't know what I'm doing. I bought this pick and the rock's absolutely just smashing. I lost the entire tip of this thing. This is getting all tore up on the end. I don't know uh, if I'm doing this right. Maybe I need a special fossil digging tool or something. But it's all right. I don't even know what rocks I'm looking for, to be honest. There's a bunch of kids down the hill there. They all got the proper gear. Looks like some sort of a group summer camp thing. I don't know. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of rocks here, but I don't know how to found, find these things, where I'm supposed to be looking for them. What kind of rocks I'm supposed to be smashing and not smashing my pick on. And I'll keep looking, see if I can find something. So you can see here all these rocks and they've all been constantly, uh, all they've constantly hammered on. I don't know if they're using them just to hammer other rocks on. You can see a lot of uh, work going on here. <sighs> All right, I just got to figure out what rocks I need to be looking at. As you can see, all these tiny shell fragments in the calcium deposits. There are some bigger ones on here I seen earlier, but you can't get them off. So uh, after 30 minutes of no luck here, I'm gonna uh, try run up a few other different areas. And if they don't work, I'm gonna go back down the hill to the first location. Um, yeah, that's all I can do. Could be a bust today, but at least I had fun doing it. I mean, look at these beautiful woods out here. There are some um, ponds out here, uh, some little lakes that uh, maybe I might be able to go get some trout from. Maybe we'll catch some dinner today or tomorrow, we'll see. After probably 45 minutes of digging, I finally found something. It's probably hard to see. That little indentation in the middle of the rock, this little, uh, I don't know if that's gonna pick it up. But that little hole in the middle, 
It's got little ribs around of it, and it, some sort of uh, ocean crustacean type thing, fossil piece. Not complete, but it's my first fossil find, so definitely fossils out here. I just gotta look for them. So I'm gonna keep looking in this area, see what else we can come up with. All right, guys, I am drenched in sweat. Uh, fossil digging is not my forte. There's a whole bunch of kids out there with special tools and stuff, fun and stuff. But I did not find a lot of anything. Found one tiny little fraction of a fossil. That's it. I think it's, it's, we're in, it's like 1.30 in the day right now and it's really, really hot. The sun's out full, it's not full heat yet, but it's, you know, early 90s supposed to get the mid 90s out here today so uh, I'm done as far as digging goes I'm just I've had enough my hands hurt uh, so I'm gonna head back to camp and um, maybe we'll have a go tomorrow morning at diamond digging again okay guys it's the next day now and we are back we're back at diamond point I'm gonna give it one last try to get some diamonds or crystal quartz and I have to pick this time so should be able to get into the ground a lot easier now right, let's head on out let's see how messed up this land is and dug over pretty good hopefully we don't run into any slithering friends today Oh man, alright, so I spent about an hour digging four separate holes out there, didn't find a single thing. I think I'm just here at the time, wrong time of the year. You can tell just by looking out there that they uh, use earth moving machines to turn the earth every season or so. So I'm here quite late in the season. Uh, I can't remember what time it opens. It is They do have a shutdown period while it's snowing and all that. And then they turn it and then they open it back up again. So I think I've come in the wrong time. It's just been fished out. I actually have a lot more luck um, finding crystals out in the wild just hiking. They're just on the surface of the ground. So uh, maybe I'll just stick to that. Uh, I know there's some really cool uh, places out east uh, that uh, Bunny and her family like to go where you can uh, actually go to an active uh, mine and pick through their tailings and stuff like that. Um, I may have to go check that out one day, possibly. Alright, so I am now on my way out of here. I'm going to go to Mormon Lake tonight um, and then drive back down to Phoenix in the morning. So I got a bit of driving ahead of me and I'm hungry. So I'm going to go get some breakfast in Payson. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Any rock hounds out there, uh, let me know down in the comments what kind of minerals do you hunt for and uh, what's your favorite finds. All right, guys, you know what to do. Until next time, all I can say is you can show up some of the time, but you don't always take the trophy home. All right, guys. You know what to do, hit the like, hit the subscribe, and until next time, this is Aussie Van Man. We'll see you later. What's going on here?